Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'll show you how to create a fun knockout text effect in Photoshop and this is pretty simple and easy to do. But before we begin I have more Photoshop training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare you get access to thousands of classes there including over 200 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be even better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family and friends. Let's swing back to Photoshop where I have an image open here. This is from Port Isaac in Cornwall and if you're familiar with it you'll know that this is also the home of Doc Martin from the television series. Now I'm going to add a box to this image. So I'm going first of all to the rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to drag out a box that's going to contain my text. Now I'm going to deliberately not center this because I want to show you how you can center it. So let's just make sure it's not centered to start off with. I'm going to make white my foreground color because my box is going to be white. And so I'm going to the paint bucket tool which shares a toolbar position with the gradient tool. I'll click on the paint bucket tool and let's add a new layer to this document for the box and we're just going to dump the white color into that layer. I'm going to choose select and then deselect. So I have a layer here with a white box on it. It's really important that your white box is not on the same layer as your image or none of this is going to work. So we're going to click here and target the layer that has the white box on it. I want to center this inside the document. It's not centered right now. So with this layer targeted here, I'm going to hold down the control key and press the letter A to select the entire artboard. If you're working on a Mac, that will be command and then A. And this is really counterintuitive because what you're going to do next is go to Layer, Align Layers to Selection and choose Horizontal Centers. And when you do that, you can see that your box is going to center up nicely inside the document. And then you can choose Select and Deselect. So now we've got our box centered inside the document. We're going to type our text. And our text is going on a layer all by itself. I want it to be black, so let me just put black as my foreground color. It's not actually going to be black later on. It's going to be see-through. But what we need to do is to be able to see it as we're typing it. And typing it in white over a white background or a white box is not going to work. So I've got the type tool selected. I've got a nice font. I already know the size is going to be pretty all right, so I'm just going to type Port Isaac. I'm just sizing the text up a little bit so it looks a little bit better. And I think I'll separate the letters out. So again, I'll go back to the Type tool. I'm going to the Character panel here. So I'm just going to click here. You can also get to that by choosing Window and then Character. And with all of our types selected, I'm going to select this option here which is the tracking or the spacing between the individual characters. I'm just going to make the spacing a little bit bigger. And I might add an extra space between those two words too. And then just line everything up. Now I can do the exact same thing in lining everything up or this time I'm just going to use the smart guides. That smart guide is just indicating to me that everything is nicely aligned. So now what we want to do is knock a hole in this white box that is the shape of the text so we can see through to the image underneath. The way we're going to do that is to select both the text and the white box. And then we're going to put them in a group. So I've got the group option down here at the very bottom of the screen. Let me just show that to you, this button here. We're just going to click on it. So inside this group is the box and the text. And we're going to open up the group because we need to make a change to the text object here. So we're just going to click on the text object and we're going down here to the FX icon and we're going to choose what's called blending options. Now you've probably never used this before but that's just fine because it's very simple to use. What you're going to do is you're going to reduce the fill opacity here. So you're going to take the fill opacity all the way down to zero and so your type is going to totally disappear. That's just fine. It's supposed to. Now there's an option here called Knockout. You're going to drop this little list down and choose Shallow. And what happens is that you're knocking a hole in this white box that is the shape of the text. And so we're seeing the image itself through this text 
So I'm just going to move things around so that you can see that you're actually poked a hole in the white box so that you can see the image underneath. Now I'm just going to undo that placement because I do want it centered over the top of the document. Now at this point, if you didn't want the white box to be fully opaque, like not see through at all, you could adjust that as well. So let's go to this layer and I'm going to just start decreasing either the opacity or the fill. You could do either and you're going to get a similar result. So you can adjust down the opacity or the fill of this white box. So again, you can see part of the image underneath, but you're not seeing any of the white box in the areas where your type is. So this effect is fairly easy to create. It's also fully editable because this text is fully editable. So if you make a typing error or something or you want to change the wording, then you can easily come in here with the type tool and change it. So let's just put a capital P on this. Well, it looks like this font is all lowercase anyway, so I can't actually replace it. But you can see that it is fully editable text. So I hope that helps you understand how you can create those sort of knockout effects in Photoshop and in particular using type that is fully editable. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned things about Photoshop of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.